Benjamin Franklin once famously said, nothing in this world is certain except death and taxes. And just like death is a topic that is uncomfortable for most to talk about, taxes are a conversation that we try to avoid because there's nothing fun about paying taxes, right? Now, death may happen once in a lifetime, but taxes, taxes is something we must deal with every year. And just like a crazy clingy girlfriend, they're not going away anytime soon. So it's a good idea to have a plan for your taxes. And if you have a traditional job, you may have found that filing your taxes is fairly easy. I mean, your boss, with the help of software, will generally provide you with everything you'll need to send to your tax professional. Now, in the world of crypto, that responsibility falls upon you. You have to make sure that you properly track and record your trading transactions and then put the data in a format that is understandable to your tax person. Failing to report on crypto transactions could mean higher taxes and getting hit with unnecessary fines, but I'm hoping that from you, I'll get hit with a like and a channel subscribe because today, we're going to take a close look at CryptoTrader.tax. This resource does all the heavy lifting of tracking and reporting on your crypto transactions and could potentially keep you out of trouble with the government. In this video, you're going to learn what initially attracted me to CryptoTrader.tax, my thoughts after using the platform, and a full walkthrough of their process. By the end, you'll know if CryptoTrader.tax is right for you. So let's jump in. So shortly after I got into crypto, I learned that I had to track my own crypto transactions for tax purposes. And to be quite honest with you, I wasn't really sure how to go about it. My best idea at the time was to basically use a pen and a notepad. <laughs> I mean, and you know as you can imagine this came with a long list of issues i mean it was time consuming i opened myself up to recording errors and most of the time the pen and notepad wasn't even by my side when i was doing transactions i actually remember thinking how silly i was to be accessing a digital world but recording it in an analog way Anyways, I knew there was a better option and I actually found a few solutions out there. However, I decided to try CryptoTrader.tax. And I'm gonna share my experience in just a moment, but first, I wanna quickly tap on why tax reporting should be very, very important to crypto investors. I mean, it really comes down to two main points. First, I mean, it's the law. We all know that failing to include your crypto activity on your tax return could result in fines, penalties, and even possible jail time. But secondly, and even more important in my opinion, it is necessary for us as crypto investors to have a voice in how the law will apply to the crypto market and actually the, the entire Web3 movement. You see, cryptocurrency and NFTs are an extremely new asset class. and earnings from activities like staking and yield farming are basically unfamiliar territory and so as we navigate through this brave new world there's a major need for contemporary regulations lawmakers at this time i mean they just don't get it and are really unsure how to police the crypto world and so if crypto investors and nft holders avoid participating in tax reporting it will just create stricter tax laws and auditing requirements. On the flip side, if the Web3 community does its best to report activity with the tools provided, it will give us the platform to speak up when politicians get it wrong. So, I mean, taxes suck, but we can make it suck less by playing along. So now I want to show you the inside of CryptoTrader.tax and how you can create a report. And then I'm going to share my overall thoughts on this service. So once you register a profile with the site, you're ready to walk through the needed steps to build your tax report. The first step is to add any accounts you may have with any exchanges or any platforms out there. You can see on their accounts page that there are numerous sites to choose from and, and of course you're going to see the most popular ones on the list. After selecting your accounts, 
you'll see them appear in the left sidebar for reference anytime. And if you find that you need to add any additional accounts later on, you can do so by clicking the big blue add account button below the list. You can also add multiple accounts under an exchange by clicking the plus symbol icon below the account. When you have all of your accounts added, you're ready to import transactions. Now, CryptoTrader.tax offers two methods for this. They have their auto import method and also they have an upload a file method. The auto import is recommended, but I mean, the choice is really yours how you will get the data to the website. If you choose auto import, you'll need to retrieve your API info from the exchange. Now every platform is different. So if you're unsure how to find your API info, you can always read the included import guide. So for example, if you're trying to connect your Coinbase Pro account, click the link to launch the import guide and then just follow along with the provided steps to find the needed information. Also, be sure to read the instructions in its entirety so you don't miss any important notes. For example, at the top of the Coinbase guide, it says that CryptoTrader only needs read or view access. So when you're creating your API, be sure to only include this and not give you know, the transfer and trade permissions as well. In all, you're gonna need the API key, the API secret, and the API passphrase. So when you have all three, enter them into CryptoTrader to connect the accounts and sync transactions. Now, if you decide uploading your transactions is a better option for you, click the upload file button to begin the import. And again, if you're unsure how to export the needed file, CryptoTrader provides an easy to follow guide. So, you know, kind of sticking with our Coinbase Pro example, launch the import guide and follow the offered steps to get your report. Now, if you're in the process of preparing your taxes, I would recommend choosing a date range that covers the entire prior year. So, you know, like January 1st to December 31st of last year. Also, oftentimes, platforms like Coinbase Pro will allow you to generate your report in either a PDF or CSV format. Now, PDFs are great for, you know, personal reference, but for CryptoTrader.tax, you're gonna need the CSV format. Now for me, I received my report in under you know, a couple of minutes and once you have your report in hand, simply upload it to CryptoTrader. Immediately, you will see a list of all of your transactions from the period you selected. And now you're ready to move on to the next tab, the Classify tab. Now, in the Classified Transactions tab, you have the ability to give specific transactions an identity. The purpose of this is to prevent you from being taxed on transactions that are non-taxable. So like, for example, sending money from a wallet you own to another wallet you own is not a taxable event. But the blockchain does not know the wallet you own, so classifying it as a non-taxable transaction may be necessary. Now, CryptoTrader alleges that it's pretty good at sniffing out non-taxable events, so it's possible you may never need this tab, but it's good to know it's there just in case you need it. The next tab is the review tab, and the purpose of this tab is to catch any transactions that need more clarification. So for example, if uh, CryptoTrader is unable to capture your original cost basis, you may see those transactions appear in the to review tab. The last tab is the tax report tab, and it's here where you can see a summary of your crypto transactions and find your downloadable tax report that can be used to file your taxes or send to a tax professional. There is some useful data here and some you're able to see and some you're not able to see with this test account that I'm using because it requires you to upgrade and pay for the report. And although there are some areas that are not viewable in this example, this actually leads me into the first feature I like about CryptoTrader.tax. It allows me to play around with the technology and actually go through all of the steps in creating a report and only requires me to pay at the end. I think this is awesome because it lowers the risk factor of, you know, not liking the program or finding it too complicated to navigate. And it, you know, it gives you the opportunity to test it out before you spend any money with them. 
Now, another feature I like about this program is how easy it is to use and the guided resources it provides. And this is important because crypto technology and accounting are two subjects that are just traditionally complex. So it's pleasing to find a piece of software that is so easy to navigate that, you know, it could be used by a monkey. And I'm not sure why a monkey would need to create tax reports, but if it did, I would feel completely confident referring to software. The last feature that I really like is the ability to invite your tax professional to the software. For some that have very complex transactions or unique situations, it could be beneficial to arm the knowledgeable professional with the tools and allow them to just go at it. Now, the one drawback that I found with the software that I hope one day, you know, the company will improve on is the ability to see my gains on the import screen. Now, I must say that this is a personal preference because you can see your gains on the tax report. But as I was using the software, I thought it would be a cool feature to create an additional column on the import screen and show the gains on the individual transaction. To me, I believe this would be like helpful as well as educational. But you know, all in all, I'm pleased with the CryptoTrader.tax software. You know, it's simple to use and creating a report is super quick. And you know, I believe if you are a crypto investor, having a tool like this is just more than a good idea, it's necessary. So if you're thinking about setting up an account with CryptoTrader.tax, please consider using the link below in the description and my special promo code as well to receive a discount on the software. But what do you think? I mean, what are your thoughts on CryptoTrader.tax? Please let me know in the comments. Also, I mean, do you see this helping in tax reporting or I mean, is there a better way that I need to know about? Please also let me know in the comments. And lastly, I want to thank you for your time. Your time is important to me, so I do hope you found value. And until next time.